Oh, all right, we're doing block blast. Let's go. Who doesn't love a good old explosion? But let's talk about the real block blast now. Pretty straightforward game, all things considered. Just like imagine Tetris with all the same pieces and everything, but then like you disregard gravity now. And you'd think that would make things easier, but actually without the speed element being a factor, you can totally get screwed over by the pieces they give you. Like, what is that? First things first, though, I'm gonna play the game for a little bit so I can learn more about it and better design the algorithm. <clears throat> yeah, so we're gonna code the AI now. All right, first thing we need to be able to do, grab the piece. Now let's move and place it somewhere. Let's go! Okay, good. Okay, now we need to know what pieces we have in our toolbar. Is toolbar right? In our storage? And? Bank? Whatever, it's these things right here. Whatever you want to call them. But yeah, sadly, since I didn't actually code the game myself, the AI only has access to the same visual information that your eyes can see. So what I did is I took a screenshot of the whole board, and then I scanned this bottom section until I find a piece, and then I look in the surrounding area until they get the whole shape, and then I just add that to a matrix. But I finished the coding for it, so if everything went as planned, it should be working now. So let's test it out on these three blocks right here. Oh god, no, that's not even close. Okay, I tinkered with the pixel numbers a little bit, let's try it out again. Okay, that's, I mean, closer. I mean, look at that beautiful symmetrical bastard on the left, he's already correct. Okay, this one should be perfect, I fixed all those rotation issues. Hey! Woohoo! Alright, let's place these blocks and try it on a new set. What? Is it blind? It's just choosing random shit now. Okay, I think it was actually just a timing issue, and I did some tweaking, so it should just work now. Okay, I know better than to get my hopes up just yet. Let's place these blocks and try it again. Oh, thank god, that took so long. It was such a hassle. And now we have to do it all over again for the board itself. Okay, I duplicated the code, so he does the same thing for the board now. Let's give it a shot. How bad is it? I can't look. Oh, what? First try? I mean, I mean, of course, for first try. What's crazy is that all the work we just did didn't have anything to do with AI yet. That was literally just reading the pixels so we could see what pieces are in your hand and what the board looks like. Oh my gosh. But hey, at least we get to start with the AI now. And the first thing we need to look at is how to figure out where the pieces can actually go. Which under the covers will actually be some matrix math going on, but what essentially it will be doing is scanning each piece across the board and finding every location where it can be validly placed down. But then we still need a way to score those final board states so you can actually choose which one's the best one. And I won't explain the full algorithm I'm going to use, but the basics are that if you had an empty block by itself, it'll be worth like say one point, and then as you increase the number of adjacent blocks, you also increase the score for that empty block space. That way we prioritize big empty spaces rather than small empty spaces strewn about everywhere. And if we check back in with the example we just had, we can look at some of the permutations for the final board state. So obviously the far left one's the best since it clears a line. The middle one's clearly the worst as well since it leaves a lot of one block spaces. And then the far right one has just a generic okay-ish board. And so if we check how the algorithm scores each board state, we'll notice that it says the exact same thing. So let's shift over and do a little coding on that. I gotta say, coding the algorithm is 10 million times more fun than coding reading freaking pixels on the screen. But with that being said, I still could hate myself in five seconds if this doesn't work. Okay, clearly I coded it to hold the pieces too long before letting go. This is ridiculous. But it does look like things are looking good. Let go of that last piece right there and we're perfect. All right, great. Now we just need to change it so that way it can place the pieces in any order rather than just left to right since sometimes it might be better to clear a line with the far right piece to the middle piece before actually placing the far left piece. Or in this case, if you look at the board right now, the far left piece is actually impossible to place down until you place down the other two pieces. So let's head over and code that logic up, because I think that might be the last thing we need to do. All right, I mean, that should be it. We should be ready to just play the game now, as long as it works. Oh god, it looks like I messed up the offsets again. Well, time to fix that. Oh wait, hold up, unbeep that one. I think that's the correct spot. Oh baby, it is. Oh, thank God, finally, that was beyond annoying. 
I just had to do some tinkering to make sure all the pieces in their matrix form are pushed to the top left corner. But there should be no other problems, so let's let this thing run and see what kind of score it can get. I mean, shit, we've already got a new high score. we've died at about 37,000. That's a pretty respectable score. I'm gonna let it go again and see if maybe we can beat that this time. I'm not liking all the tiny spaces that keep popping up. It's getting a little dangerous here. Huh, this time we only had 19,000. I don't like how many single space holes there are in there. I think we need to go back to the drawing board real quick and adjust the numbers so that way these single hole empty blocks are punished a lot more and the fully surrounded empty blocks are rewarded more. And all right, I made that small adjustment and let's see how this new algorithm works out. This one should prioritize bigger open spaces so we're less likely to get a random failure when we shouldn't. All right, there we go, just a hair over 80,000. Uh, that's a lot more respectable, that's kind of what I was looking for. I looked up online what people were saying their like good scores were, and all the people that everyone was impressed by were saying things like 50,000, 80,000. There were a lot of people over 100,000 as well, but I would have to code the AI to try to go for combos in order to get there. Um, but let me know if in the future, I could think a better way to do this might be to create the game myself and then run it through a a reinforcement algorithm to maybe have the AI learn to beat it. I think then we might be able to break a 100,000 barrier. So let me know if you want me to try that out. For now, I think we've reached a good point with the hard-coded AI. I'm really proud of this one. I mean, it crushed my 3,000 score. I mean, 81,000 compared to 3,600 is not even close. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It would really, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for making it this far. I mean, if you made it all the way here, I mean, that's 11 minutes of watching my dumbass talk, so thank you. And maybe check out one of my other videos. But either way, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.